Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another variation of lightning maths, the quickest, fastest and easiest way to multiply two two-digit numbers together. This will be done using the down, down, cross method. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's see how quickly you can work out 41 times 21. I'll give you around five to seven seconds to work that out. Give it a go. Okay, time's up. Now, if you got the answer as 861, fantastic. But if you felt that you ran out of time, not to worry. I'm going to show you the quickest way of getting that using this method. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, there are two columns. There's the tens column and the units column. So we want to move over to the tens column first of all, and we're going to multiply downwards. So we multiply four by two, and that gives us eight. So we put that here underneath in the hundreds column. Then we move on to the units column. We multiply downwards again. So that's one times one, which is one. We'll put that here. And finally, we want to multiply crosswise. So we multiply right to left. We can multiply left to right as well. This is personal preference. So we do one times two, which is two. And we put the mini working here. Again, this is optional and you can actually do all this mentally as well. Then we multiply four by one. That gives us four, and we want to add these numbers together, and that gives us six. So I'm going to put the six in the middle of there. So the answer is 861. Now, as you can notice, the pattern, we have a down arrow, we have another down arrow, and a cross in the middle, hence the name down, down, cross. Also, these arrows and this mini working here is completely optional. You don't have to show this. You can actually do all of this mentally as well. I'm just showing you this for demonstration purposes and I've deliberately slowed all of this down so that it can be easily understood. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. Let's consider 32 times 74. Let's see how quickly you can do that. Give it a go. Okay, time's up. If you got 2,368, well done. But if not, don't worry. We can use the down, down, cross method to get the answer. Okay, so let's go to the tens column and multiply downwards. So that's three times seven, which gives us 21. So put that together down here. Then we move to the units column and we do two times four, which is gives us eight and we put that down there. Then finally, we do the cross, so we do 2 times 7, which gives us 14. And we want to add that to 3 times 4, which gives us 12. So that gives 26 in total. Now, we have a two-digit number here. So what we want to do is we want to put the 6 here, and we want to carry the 2 here. Now, we can put the 2 either at the top, or we can even put it at the bottom as well. Again, this is personal preference is just to show that this number is being carried, okay? Now, finally, what we need to do here is to get the final answer, we need to add this two to this 21. So that gives us 23. So the final answer is 2,368. Okay, so let's just do one more example so that we have fully understood the down, down, cross method. So let's consider this time 36 times 40. Two. Give that one a go. Okay, time's up. Did we get 1,512? Don't worry if you didn't. Let's just use this method again to get the answer. So moving on to the tens column, we do 3 times 4, which gives us 12, and we put that down there. Then we do 6 times 2, which is 12 again. Now, as we have a two-digit number, we can only fit one digit in the answer box. So we put the two there and we carry the one over. Then we do the cross. So we do six times four, which is 24. And we want to add that to three times two, which is six. That totals to 30. Now, in the answer box, we can only fit one digit in. So we got to carry the one from before and that gives 31. So we put the one here and the three there as it's been carried. 
So that 3 now gets added to the 12 from before, so that makes 1,512. Okay, so hopefully by now you would have got a good handle on the technique. So what I'll do is I'll leave it with these three questions for you to try. You can pause the video and I'll join you in a few moments. Okay, so let's see how well you did at these questions. Starting with the first one. So that's 2 times 3, which is 6. Then we do 8 times 4, which is 32. Carry the 3. Then we do 8 times 3, which is 24. And we want to add that to 2 times 4, which is 8. That totals to 32. Now we want to add this 3 from before, so that gives 35. So we carry the 3 there. Now adding this 3 to the 6 gives us 952. Number 2. Multiplying down, so 5 times 7 is 35. 3 times 4 is 12, and we carry the 1. Then 3 times 7 is 21, and we're going to add that to 5 times 4, which is 20. That totals to 41. Adding this one from before gives us 42, and we carry the 4 here. Then add that 4 to the 35, so that totals to 3,922. Number 3. Multiplying down again, 3 times 5 is 15. 8 times 6 is 48, carry the 4. Then 8 times 5 is 40, and we want to add that to 3 times 6, which is 18. That totals to 58. Adding this 4 from before gives us 62, carry the 6. Adding the 6 to the 15, that gives 21, so the answer is 2,128. Okay, so everybody should have done well on those, but if you feel you need a bit more practice, then feel free to rewind this video, and you can work through the technique again. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this could benefit, and do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.